Welcome to the discussions. We are looking at Form 2 Chemistry, a topic on salts. In this topic, we are going to look at the meaning of a salt. We look at types of salts, methods of preparing salts without forgetting their solubility and also the uses of salts. As part of the introduction, a salt is a substance formed when hydrogen ions in an acid are either wholly or partially replaced by a positive ion. For example, if we have sodium hydroxide solution reacting with hydrochloric acid, the two are going to give us sodium chloride and of course water. Sodium will come and displace hydrogen from the acid and once sodium attaches itself there, we will be having sodium chloride. And the hydrogen displaced will combine with hydroxide part to form water, which is a liquid. This is simply the reaction between a base and an acid. But for, an, for a salt to be formed, sorry, but for a salt to be formed, hydrogen ions in an acid must either be wholly or partially replaced by a positive ion as we have seen in this particular equation. Next we talk about types of salts. Types of salts. Basically, we have four types of salts, namely we have normal salts, we have acid salts, we have basic salts, and lastly we have double salts. So we are going to begin by looking at all the four types of salts. So we begin with normal salts. So what is a normal salt? A normal salt is a salt is a salt that does not contain that does not contain any replaceable any replaceable hydrogen atom eg examples of normal salts and we have sodium carbonate. You see sodium carbonate does not have any hydrogen in it. We have potassium sulfate. We have sodium chloride. We have calcium nitrate. We have a uh, so many of them, but you realize all these salts that don't contain any hydrogen in them, and therefore we call them normal salts. Salts that do not contain any replaceable hydrogen atom. We move to part B, where we have acid salts. What is an acid salt? An acid salt, we say, is a salt is a salt that contains this one contains a replaceable a replaceable hydrogen a replaceable hydrogen atom salts that contain replaceable hydrogen atoms are known as acid salts 
examples examples of acid salts we can talk about sodium hydrogen carbonate you can see the hydrogen present there is responsible for the acidic properties we have potassium hydrogen sulfate i'm using the chemical symbols because of the space we have sodium dihydrogen phosphate that is na h2po4 and many more we can say these above salts the above salts the above salts have acidic properties they have acidic properties due to the presence due to the presence due to the presence due to the presence of a replaceable hydrogen atom due to the presence of a replaceable hydrogen atom we move to another type of salt which we can call basic salts and in this case from the word basic salts we can say are salts these are the salts that are the salts that contain salts that contain hydroxyl ions salts that contain hydroxyl or simply hydroxide ions remember the presence of hydroxide ions are responsible for the basic properties of such salts we can look at examples examples include we have basic magnesium chloride basic magnesium chloride into brackets we have mg or h for basic then of course chlorine we can also talk about basic basic uh, copper 2 carbonate copper 2 carbonate whose formula is cu co3 dot Dot we have copper hydroxide. We can also talk about basic zinc chloride and many more. The last one we are going to talk about is double salt. Double salts are the salts that contain, or we can say are the salts in which are results in which there are there are different there are you can say are results in which there are are results in which there are Two, two different anions, two different anions or cations. For example, we can talk about hydrated potassium. E.g., we can talk about hydrated potassium, aluminium sulfate. 
hydrated potassium aluminium sulfate. Remember, this one has 12 waters of crystallization. We can also talk about trona, which is a, sample, a double salt of sodium, a double salt of sodium carbonate, sodium hydrogen carbonate, and of course it has two waters of crystallization. Remember to subscribe and also share the link. This is a topic on salts. We have so far looked at the meaning of a salt, types of salts and their definitions. Next, we are going to look at the solubility of salts. And remember, a salt is either soluble or insoluble. Thank you for watching and welcome to our discussions. And in case you are watching this channel for the first time, please take a second or two, click the subscribe button so that anytime we publish a video like this, you'll automatically be given a notification.